What's up DX Army and the rest of the Mafia? Welcome back to day 28 of the vlog. Last night I caught a red eye to Charlotte, North Carolina to go to my uncle's wedding. Oh, we didn't miss the flight? No. My plan for today is to give you guys a little mini room tour, get my daily workout in, and confront my very own sister. You guys have probably seen her on my main channel, so let's get started. Every time I go anywhere, I've been making a habit of giving you guys a room tour. Usually I'm giving a tour of a really normal, rundown hotel room. This hotel room, though, is actually nice. Come on over here, let me show you something. Welcome to the bathroom. Lots of natural light in here, like a... A uh, stone tile shower. I don't know anything about explaining home reviews. In here, we've got this uh, floating bed type thing. <sighs> Extremely comfortable, could sleep here for infinite hours. I did literally sleep here until noon today, so, so I guess I proved that correct. We got a pull out couch right here. Don't know why I would ever use this. A view of a tree and the suburbs. Desk space, as long as the eye can see for doing infinite amounts of work. I like that part of this room. Probably the nicest hotel room I've stayed in since the Sidemen Charity Match. I'm gonna give it a solid four out of five stars. I'm a big fan. I like the modern look of it too. It's three o'clock in the afternoon right now, which I'm operating on about five hours of sleep. But as you guys know, there's something that I have to do every single day. Oh, it hurts so bad. No, it's just the spikes, bro. Mm. It is sore, but it's like the spikes are horrible. <sighs> this is your daily motivation to work out, guys. Please don't make me work out by myself today. I want this to be a accountability for all of you guys out there who are trying to get on your fitness grind, whatever that grind looks like. Make sure you get your workout in today. Doesn't matter if you want to do it or not. I sure don't, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Out. Our daily setting a good example for the male youth and not being a degenerate. What do you have to say, Alex? Be a better human, be a more productive human. Leave this place standing on the shoulders of giants and you being one of them. That was deep. <laughs> if YouTube recommended you this video, welcome to my secret channel. I've been daily vlogging here for the last 28 days. I would love for you guys to let me know in the comments how you guys feel that this whole thing is coming to an end. I personally already feel very nostalgic. Doing this with you guys has been maybe the most fun I've had on YouTube in the last year. And there are only two more days. After this video, you should go back and watch the other videos and join the Arak Mafia, which reminds me to ask you guys to please not subscribe. This channel is only for my hardcore Mafia members. If you don't come back and watch the video every single day, like and comment. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to subscribe here. This is a sacred place for my most hardcore community. Look who's here. Oh no. Why are you drinking water out of a box? All right, cutting your mic. We have to have a confrontation. Uh, got it? We have to get in, we have to get an altercation. <laughs> I got it. You understand? Yeah, this is perfect. Okay. This is, your meal is just straight salsa. Chili. Well, I don't think that we filmed the video together since that one time we filmed that video together. You did that. Chloe and I filmed the video uh, about, what, a year and a half ago? 100 days, 24 hours. I was the first one to do the concept and then every other YouTuber copied me. You're welcome, guys, for all that free money I gave you guys. You're welcome for all the free money I gave you. That's true. You should you should say you're welcome to them. You, you've literally generated millions of dollars by making that video for a bunch of other people. I'd say a dime. That's, that's actually true. I mean, you did get a long-term boyfriend out of it. No, I didn't. I flew all the way to LA for you to fail, mm -hmm. like, miserably. It was a cool video, though. Bonding time. I have to explain to people that I'm dating that there's a video about me dating a hundred people. That's what the confrontation is about? <laughs> How much do you think I owe you for that? How much money did you make from that? I think I should receive half of that, minus- What would that do for you? What would, would you do the money? pay off my college debt, <laughs> which I need. If anybody out there is a billionaire. I could reroute any money that's made off this from now on and just wire to your bank. Mm -hmm. We could do that. I would be down. Yeah, you guys decide if I should give uh, Chloe the money from her video. Three million dollars. It's not three million dollars. Jax, I think, made more money dollars. though, to be honest. Oh yeah, that was Jack's video. No way. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna show the audience, but maybe you can explain, like, in your own words. I'm prettier than Jack. Can I try this? You wanna try mine? Yeah, what do we got here? It's just chili, but they didn't put beans in it. Which feels like a strange move. That's pretty good. It feels like it's That's easy, really good. Right? What was it like growing up with me as a kid? Eric as a kid was <laughs> much like Eric now, I think. Eric loved bugs and jumping on a trampoline. Yeah. Eric would, and I would spend like days like going through the forest looking for bugs and mm -hmm. then burning them on the sidewalk. 
with a magnifying glass. Yeah. I shouldn't have done that. He made me. It was messed up. It was messed up. I was a disturbed kid, I guess. Our mother got real angry about the the video camera. Camera being missing all the time. All the time. But I had it and I was making videos. All the because time. Because I was training for this moment right now. Eric should have never been anything but a YouTuber, honestly. It's kind of interesting. It kind of makes me scared for like, if I were to ever fall off one day, you know? Like what's my alternative? And I remember one time we were like on the phone with mom. I had the phone in my hand and I was like, mom. And mom was on like, ah. Okay. <laughs> What are your thoughts on my uh, physique change? Super weird, because you used to be super small. Are you uh, impressed? Yep, I love that. Chloe's not a big fan of uh, Doha being here. Wait, she picked us up from the airport this morning at five o'clock in the morning. Not, that's not the case. <laughs> you didn't even ask me my side before we started this. I think Doha's lovely. Doha was pitching me vlog ideas here's, in the car. And the she was like, what does that mean? Shh, what's Here's the full story. I didn't know that Eric was gonna, or I thought Eric was gonna be coming. I checked with him last week and he said he was coming. And then he said, maybe his trainer was coming. And I'm like, great. Alex is great. Alex is about the whole family. They love him. And then uh, Eric and Alex show up to the airport and I see Eric. And then I see Alex's huge arm. And I'm like, great. And then you keep walking. And then they separate. And all of a sudden this man walks out between them. And I'm like, that man's going to like another car. And then the man sta keeps standing there. And like, and he's like smiling at me. Like, and I'm like, I don't, I didn't. There's, by the way, I didn't know what time Eric was coming in until yesterday afternoon. You need to work on your concise storytelling. It's been going on for a long time. Okay, well, it's a long story. It's not There's that a long. lot to it. You anyway, need to do it for you? Yeah. I got you. All right, so Chloe la, was basically. La, la, la. Go ahead. This has been fun. We've had a really good time. Tonight is the reception of my uncle's wedding. The wedding was actually the other day. It was a very private thing. There's a difference between tonight and this evening. It's like 8 o'clock. Evening is like 6, which is what time it is at. I like that you're living up to the confrontation bit. Like you really like took confrontation and ran with it. Like it doesn't even have to be that deep. You're just running with confrontation. You're, you're, you're talking about concise and descriptive storytelling and you're not saying it right. Because he has a content brain. Yeah, I have TikTok brain, I have rot brain. I get bored super fast. Look at this, I'm bored. You know what I mean? When's the next time we're gonna see you in the videos? Are you gonna become a YouTuber or what? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, you answered that a little too fast. <laughs> Like, you must think my job is so stupid or something. No, Eric does a great job with us. I'm gonna be a speech pathologist. Maybe someday I'll monetize that. You're not desperate for attention, like me? Nope. Anyway, so let us know if you want Eric to send me all the money from the video that I did and made. Well, you said half, but yeah. I decision. told you I would. It's their decision. I'll route any future earnings on that video to you. And half of the original. <laughs>